Hi students, I am Professor Ravis Ahmed Husseini, working as Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Yatra. In last video, we discuss what is compressor, what are the different applications, classifications, as well as construction and working of single stage reciprocating air compressor. Now, in this video, we will discuss two stage compressor along with their construction and working also efficiency of the compressor so this formula related with the efficiency will be definitely helpful while solving the numericals related with the compressors so let us start with the construction and working of two stage reciprocating air compressor okay so here you get the idea about the outline of two stage reciprocating air compressor so here instead of one here there are two cylinders are there along with pistons so so this is the first uh, set so it is called as a low pressure side compressor or low pressure stage and in right hand side high pressure stage is there because definitely the pressure as compared with the first stage in second stage the air pressure is more so the working is same as that of a single stage reciprocating air compressor so in case of the single stage reciprocating air compressor the piston moves from TDC to BDC at that time what happened the air from the atmosphere is come inside from the intake uh, portion or intake uh, wall and air is trapped on the top side of the piston and the, when the piston is reached at the bottom position at that time the suction stroke is completed when the crank is rotates at that time uh, the piston moves from BDC to TDC in that case whatever the air is trapped on the top side of the piston it get compressed and high pressurized air is delivered from the delivery stroke and it is stored in the reservoir so this is the main construction and working of the single stage reciprocating air compressor but why to choose that two stage compressor this is most important and interesting question if the reason is simple the reason is if we want high pressure at that time we can prefer that two stage reciprocating air compressor instead of single stage reciprocating air compressor because in if we prefer high compression in single stage there are so many kinds of the limitations are there like the size of the piston is increase size of the uh, cylinder is increases material required is increases so material cost is again uh, gain similar way the friction then uh, the burning of that lubricating oil noise problems are there so seal get damage Okay, and tremendous amount of the heat uh, is trapped and because of that the malfunctioning is will happen so in order to avoid that it is easy and it is best option to prefer or to generate high pressure instead of single stage so we gone through that multi staging so this is the main reason behind it uh, to use the multi stage reciprocating air compressor that is two stage reciprocating air compressor for high pressure applications now as far as that construction and working is to be concerned it is same as that of the single stage reciprocating air compressor so here you get the two uh, diagrams or two uh, cylinders on left hand side it is a uh, left uh, this is a low pressure stage and on right hand side high pressure stage is there so in case of the low pressure stage so air from the atmosphere air from the atmosphere is come inside so here i just use some uh, highlighter for understanding so air from the atmosphere okay air from the atmosphere come inside the cylinder and it uh, whatever the air is uh, stored it is uh, available on the top side of the piston and piston moves continuously from TDC to BDC and from BDC to TDC at the time of the suction stroke in case of the low pressure side stage the, when the piston is moves from TDC to BDC means in this direction 
okay tdc to bdc at that time what will happen the air from the atmosphere come inside and it is stored in this particular region okay when the piston is reached at the lowest position of the cylinder at that time the suction stroke is completed okay and the inlet valve get closed when piston again moves from bdc to tdc means from bottom dead center to top dead center when the crank rotates at that time whatever the air is trapped in this particular area get compressed so high pressure is generated and because of the piston moves or piston exert a force on that particular air and high pressurized air is moves out from that delivery stroke in at that time the delivery valve is open and high pressurized air is enters in the intercooler so what is exactly that intercooler so the main function of the intercooler is to keep the temperature constant okay so the main reason behind it is sorry to main reason behind to use that intercooler is to keep the pressure constant as compared with the temperature so here whatever the air is remove from the first stage that is low pressure stage it is having high pressure definitely similar way the temperature is also high if the same air like that high pressure high temperature air is enters uh, in the next stage so it affect on the performance on the uh, that high pressure side compressor or that cylinder because the lubrication problem is there so that uh, malfunctioning will happen noise then seal get damages so friction will uh, increase so in order to avoid that we must have to reduce the temperature so that's why that intercooler is generally used so the main function of the intercooler is to keeping the pressure constant as compared with the temperature okay so here temperature get reduced and pressure get constant so in order to cool that air water is continuously circuit circulated through that area okay so water jacket will be provided so uh, for better heat transfer now uh, from intercooler low temperature as compared with this initial stage and um, we are maintaining the pressure constant the same air is enters in the second stage that is high pressure side of cylinder and it enters from the intake valve again the working is same when the crank rotates the piston moves from tdc to bdc at that time the suction stroke uh, will happen and when the piston reach at the bottom position at that time uh, the suction stroke is completed okay uh, so when again crank rotates the piston moves from bdc to tdc at that time again uh, that particular uh, whatever the air is trapped on the top side of the piston it get compressed Uh, because of the piston exert a force on it okay piston exert a force on it and high pressure air as compared with that low pressure side so here we get higher pressure as compared with the left side okay so high pressure air is moves out from the delivery stroke at that time intake valve is closed and delivery port is open and finally that high pressurized air is enters in the reservoir and from where it is used for the variety of the application where we need the high pressure air so this is the construction and working of two stage reciprocating air compressor now uh, if we want to discuss that pv diagram so it is very interesting uh, to know that uh, pressure and temperature from the each position so here before entering to the lower stage the pressure and temperature is supposed to be p1 and t1 and after first compression in the lower stage the pressure and temperature become change and here you get the idea about p2 to uh, p2 to t2 means p1 v1 get change from the p2 to t2 when it is passes when high pressure is passes from the intercooler the here you get idea that pressure is remains constant because the main function of the intercooler is to keeping the pressure constant and reduce the temperature 
so here you get idea about that t1 so pressure is uh, remains constant and temperature is uh, reduced here and it is generally same as that of the atmosphere okay further in the next stage of the compression again pressure is increased tremendously and here you get idea about that p3 and again temperature is increases it is supposed to be t3 okay so this is the main uh, working principle of the two stage uh, or you can say it as a multi stage reciprocating air compressor okay so now uh, when we talk about that uh, indicator diagram that is pv diagram so here p1 to 1 point so here that p1 to 1 is supposed to be suction stroke okay so this is a suction of the low pressure side cylinder keep in mind that so in case of the multi stage there are two suction stroke and there are two delivery stroke okay and there are two compression so here total six processes are there two are suction two are compression and two are delivery stroke so here that uh, suction stroke is p1 to 1 in case of the low pressure side compressor okay so now in case of the 1 dash 2 dash so here this particular line indicates the polytropic compression generally we follow the polytropic compression in the reciprocating air compressor so this first compression is related with the low pressure okay so this is lp this is related with lp okay keep in mind that now that uh, 2 dash p2 that 2 dash p2 is related with the delivery stroke of the low pressure side compressor okay after that what will happen again that uh, uh, pressurized air is enters in the intercooler and from that intercooler again air is uh, uh, sucked in the high pressure side so that p2 to 2 so that p2 to 2 is again that suction stroke okay but this suction stroke is for high pressure side again that 2 to 3 that 2 to 3 it follows the second polytropic compression in the high pressure side okay and from that 3 to p3 indicates the delivery stroke from the high pressure side compressor keep in mind that so this is a pv diagram or indicator diagram by considering the combined effect of the lp and hp with effect of that intercooling okay so when we will uh, uh, we, if we want to solve the numericals related with the compressor so definitely we need to calculate the work done as well as efficiency our next video will be on rotary compressor and after at the end of the rotary compressor we will discuss some important formulae related with the work done of the single stage as well as that multi stage as well as work done for rotary compressor but before that the most interesting question which is common for that single stage as well as multi stage compressor is the efficiency so the first efficiency is mechanical efficiency so what is exactly that mechanical efficiency in case of the reciprocating air compressor it is in, it is applied for both the type of the compressor that is single acting as well as double acting so mechanical efficiency is the ratio of indicated power that is ip okay to the brake power so ip upon bp is the mechanical efficiency so here that the brake power is generally calculated by dynamometer and the formula is 2 pi and t by 60,000 in if you want answer in the kilowatt okay if you want answer in the watt then 2 pi and t by 60 is the basic formula so what is mechanical efficiency of compressor mechanical efficiency of the compressor is the ratio of indicated power to the brake power and brake power is calculated by 2 pi and t by 60 in terms of the watt and 2 pi and t by 60,000 in terms of the kilowatt now the second important formula of the efficiency is isothermal efficiency so isothermal efficiency is the ratio of isothermal work input to the actual work input what is the formula of the isothermal efficiency isothermal efficiency is the ratio of isothermal work input to the actual work input so these are the important formula so uh, after two video we will de definitely discuss that work done and where we get about 
uh, how that p1 v1 and uh, that uh, log of p2 by p1 comes so we will discuss afterwards so these are the basic important formula of the isothermal work input that is p1 v1 log or ln and that is uh, p2 by p1 and similarly actual work input is n upon n minus 1 n is stand for that polytropic index okay p1 v1 bracket p2 by p1 raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 so this is the main formula so it is 100 percent when the compression process is isothermal best because uh, compressor needs minimum work so that's why that isothermal efficiency is important again and the last efficiency is the particular uh, volumetric efficiency and it is the ratio of free air delivered that is fad free air delivered okay free air delivered to the displacement of the compressor so what is the formula of the volumetric efficiency volumetric efficiency is the ratio of effective swept volume to the swept volume you can say you can say in other language also it is the ratio of free air delivered to the displacement of the compressor okay so shortly the ratio of effective swept volume to the swept volume that's it so this is the basic important formula of the volumetric efficiency and clearance ratio is a term uh, where we need to uh, calculate uh, while uh, solving the numericals and the formula of the clearance volume is sorry that uh, formula of the clearance ratio is clearance volume upon swept volume that is vc by vs where vc is clearance volume and vs is swept volume so student uh, this particular video covers uh, the what is the main reason behind to choose that multi stage reciprocating air compressor similar way we also discussed the construction as well as working and pv diagram or indicator diagram of a two stage reciprocating air compressor along with their uh, efficiencies which will helpful while solving the numericals so our next video will be on construction and working of rotary compressor thank you